Hey everyone, so I'm making this video to just bring awareness to this topic. Um, this is for educational purposes only, okay? I am not trying to bring shame to anyone or bully anyone or make someone feel bad about themselves. More people should know about this condition, okay? And another thing the media is still spreading misinformation and lies that only one percent of the population is being born like this being born intersex there are a lot more people individuals being born like this daily it's, it's not as rare as you guys think um due to our government dumping chemicals into our tap water and allowing these toxic pesticides you know to you know get into the environment and of course, still allowing toxic pesticides to be sprayed on the food itself, okay? Our our food, our fruits and vegetables are literally considered poisonous, but we're still consuming this stuff because, you know, the GMO stuff is cheap. But people, people don't understand or realize, like, how much the government is really poisoning us and how this is affecting us today okay and our children all right like this really is altering our dna okay um now hermaphroditism has been a thing okay for centuries like intersex people have been written about and you know there are old diaries uh from these people who existed back in the 1800s and 1700s i read a lot of documentaries about intersex people okay like black people want to s hide from this topic or stay um keep their heads buried in the sand about this topic and when someone exposed their favorite celebrity or favorite influencer or just political person you know they get upset and, and you know it becomes personal they think you're personally attacking them or saying that oh all black women look like this when i'm telling you no all black women do not look like or have the proportions like michelle obama or um what's another serena williams or um Krishan rock or sexy red you know these these two new um uh, artists that i'm exposing today um industry plants they're not real artists they're industry plants okay like people really cannot tell the difference between a dna woman a intersexed male and a transformed female like no y'all really can't tell the difference y'all say y'all can but none of y'all really know real human anatomy like y'all really think big fake parts make you a woman like having big titties but no women have a different bone structure and anatomy than you know men and those in between sometimes okay so there are ways you can actually see these people by just looking at anatomy but the american education system is not teaching proper human anatomy anymore okay they're not teaching the difference between males and females they're saying that we're all the same um <laughs> except for the part that women might have some wider hips that's literally what they're teaching now and that they, they're not teaching that uh men build muscle differently than women they're not teaching any of that in school anymore so yeah i'm here to help educate um everyone on this topic because the American education system is failing everyone literally and you know they're doing this for deception also like so you know the people in Hollywood can continue deceiving and putting hermaphrodites and fake you know and transformed women in front of us and keep masquerading them around like they're DNA women these transformed men and XXY hermaphrodites are literally everywhere and they took that they, they have taken over the modeling industry. I know a lot of people say I'm pretty enough to be a model, maybe, but I will never get that opportunity because they're giving that all to men. OK, um, and I actually have a few friends that actually tried the modeling thing um, and 
you know, they are drop dead gorgeous, but it just did not go far because they're not androgynous. Like the Jays, the Jays love androgyny. Okay. They love the shit. And if you don't have the big wide neck, the broad shoulders, and the square jaw they're looking for, you're not going to be a model. Mm -mm. 11 years old, my mom sat me down and told me that I was biologically male. What? I don't look like a biological male to you? To me, you do. You're not fooling me. As a little girl, always wore pink. And I remember in school feeling really outcast and uncomfortable. And like I never really got along with anybody. And always feeling really misunderstood. When I was in fifth grade, my friend had gotten her period and I was so excited to come home and ask my mom when I was going to get my period. By middle school, I really wanted to have boobs and to like become a woman. My mom was nervous and really anxious and sat me down and, and she said, well, you have this intersex condition. You know, you aren't gonna be able to have kids and you're not gonna get a period. So when I was born, I looked like a typical baby girl on the outside. When I had a hernia as a baby, they went in to fix the hernia Whoa, 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 pause, flag on the play. They just said they had a so-called hernia that these doctors had to go in and fix, just like Krishan Jr.? Hmm, interesting. I realized that I had premature, undescended internal testes. I was just shocked. I was in disbelief. I was like, how does she know something about me that I didn't get to know? I just remember lying in bed that night, crying, being like, oh my God, I'm a boy. Guess what? They're real. Ish. I've been on estrogen since I was 11 years old. And that's because I don't have the organs to actually produce the estrogen on my own. These actually didn't come in until I was about 22. And to be honest, there's no scientific explanation. A lot of intersex people have to be on hormone replacement therapy because their body doesn't produce the hormones on their own. And the hormones are still necessary for things like brain health and heart health and everything else. I told friends in middle school that I was intersex. And by the time I got to high school, the girls that I had told had told everybody in high school. So then I was bullied. You know, they called me a hermaphrodite. How people respond when I tell them I'm intersex depends completely on their gender. In addition to being intersex, I'm also queer. So when I tell women or queer people, they don't really care at all. Usually they think it's pretty cool. But when I tell a cis heterosexual man, they get a little uncomfortable. My mom was told by the doctors to raise me as a normal little girl and that there wouldn't be any issues about any of it going forward. The surgery I had as a baby was completely unnecessary medically and it was entirely cosmetic. So all, almost all of the surgeries that are performed on intersex babies are just cosmetic. I think in the 90s, people still weren't as open and comfortable with talking about gender and sexuality as they are today. Even though everybody else around me might see me as a woman or a female, that's fine. I see myself as something more and I think that's where I find comfort. As I've gotten older, I don't have any distrust and resentment towards my mom because I realized that she made the best decision that she could for me. And that it was usually the doctors that are creating shame and secrecy and manipulation around intersex diagnoses. I think the best thing that parents of intersex children can do is tell them from a place of love and acceptance and not create fear or shame and to never consent to any sort of procedures that are not completely necessary for the baby's well-being. Really, I just want intersex children to know that they're not broken. Intersex people are 1.7% of the population. So knowing that there's that many people out there and there's so many different ways that our bodies can look, we shouldn't be ashamed, anybody, intersex or not.